about the human beings you need to meet in life. I might say the truth. That no matter what God has to do in your life, they've got to be a human being factor. Human factor. And yesterday we saw that for you to get to any place at all, the ruler over there have got to be approved of you. Today we're going through warfare. The warfare we are going through is very simple. That each day, each minute, each hour in the year of 2023, may God secure your life. Amen. Oh, the one who shouted the loudest, amen, God will come through for you. Amen. And tomorrow, every blessing God has for you, that's why you shall receive it. The main crossover day, there is no, uh, you will not be able to do much because the time will go very, very quick. We're planning to just have one service, but the information didn't come early. So we still have three services. Amen. You know, most of the things we are doing here, I've, I've written them down. Number one, that in the coming year, any projected attacks will be stopped against you. Amen. Number two, any projected blessings will come your way. Amen. Then number three, all victories and good news from the past year will repeat itself. Amen. Then all the troubles of the past year will not repeat itself again. And, and this last few days remaining, any issue will be cancelled from your life. And last few days, any blessing will come your way in Jesus' name. Amen. And we also activate the angels of God responsible for your life in Jesus' name. You know, uh, in the next 15 minutes, I want to speak to you. Then we'll go outside and pray. I'm speaking about the power to command the year. Tell us about the power to command the year. The power to command the year. Oh, I can't feel you. The power to command the year. Ask the person by you and say, can you command the year? Can you command the year? What is the answer? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Have you commanded the year before? Yes. No, no, no. Now you say you are lying. I said, have you commanded the year before? You know, um, first of all, anything that has a name carries spirit. Anything that has a name carries a spirit. There's a spirit behind anything that has a name. 2023 has a name, so it carries spirit. When you speak to 2023, it has the ability to listen to you. When you wake up in the morning, the day has a name. That's the day, and that's the date, um, the date. And that particular day has a name. If you have the power and the ability to speak over it, whatever that you want it to happen, that's what you tell the year or you tell the day and it will happen to you. So let's see something from Job chapter 38. Uh, God was angry with Job. When Job started complaining, God, I'm a faithful guy. I've gone through this. And God said to Job, Job, is that how you are? There are secrets I've given to you that you didn't know. So this is the first time God has to speak. He says, then God answered Job out of the storm and said, let's pause it there. He started telling Job, the mountains you see, who created them? This, this, who, who, who created them? Then he says something very revelational. And that's what believers got to understand in the verse of 12. What God said to Job. And everybody, don't forget what I'm about to show you. He says, have you ever given orders to the morning or shown the dawn its place? Now let's all read together. Let's go. Have you ever given orders to the morning? So God is telling Job, I've given you power all this time, but you didn't know what the power you carry. So since your days, have you ever given orders to the morning? Now if morning is there, you can put any other um, season there. Am I saying the truth? Morning means the beginning of the day. So as we are about to start a new year, 1st of January is the morning of 2023. So God says, have you ever given orders to the morning before? Have you ever shown that dawn is place? As the year is coming, have you ever given an order to it before? What is the order? Whatever you want it to be established, that's what we say. Right. Have you ever given the order before? He says, when you give the order, let's see what happens. Verse 12, 13. That it might take the earth by the edges. In other words, so that anything that you want it to be perfected in the earth, you, you, you can do that. But it can only happen when we give the orders. And look at what he says, and it's very dangerous there. And shake the wicked out of it. So if you want to shake the wicked out of 2023, it's about you giving the orders to the morning of 2023. That's right. I keep on saying this. Christians have every information that you need for the year. But we don't know. So in order for you to show, when you come here and say, God, I, God, take away the wicked. I say the wicked. It can never happen. Not until you give orders to the morning. 
so that it will seek the wicked out of it. In 2023, any wicked power, any wicked entity, Jesus. in 2023, it can only be taken away after you give orders to the morning. That's right. What is the morning orders you have ever given? The KGV version put another dimension in verse 12. Let's see it. The verse 12. It didn't only say orders. It says, have you commanded the morning since thy days? Since God made you, have you ever commanded a money before? You only think you can only command a human being. No, you can command a season, a morning. If you can command a morning, you can command a January. You can command a December. You can command a particular year. Have you ever given a command before? And when you give the command, that's the only way you can shake the wicked out of it. Verse 13. So, so you just don't open your mouth and say, God, shake the wicked. He says that it might take hold of the ends of the earth. In other words, so that all things will just be in order. If things have to be in order in your life, you've got to command the morning. That the wicked might be shaken out of it. This evening, we're about to give some commands. The one who said the loudest amen, it has already happened to you. Do you know the reason why you're supposed to give some commands? Because each and every time, each and every time, every day, we have a perfect day and we have a day of trouble. The day somebody receives bad news will be the day somebody receives their good news. So the bad day for somebody becomes the good day, the perfect day for somebody. And in order for that day to be perfect to you, you've got to give some orders. Say by authority. By authority. Oh, I come feel you. To say by authority. By authority. I give some orders. I give some orders. By fire. By fire. I give some orders. I give some orders. To my 2023. To my 2023. By the power of God. By the power of God. I shake. I shake. Every disaster. Every disaster. Out of the year. Out of the year. Every disaster. Every disaster. I take it away. I take it away. By fire. By fire. Now. Now. 2023. 2023. Hear my voice. Yeah, my voice. Any disaster. Any disaster. Get out. Get out. From my life. From my life. Now. Now. Clap your hands and bless God. Let's go to the verse of 16. The verse of 16. What it says over there. The verse of 16. This verse of 16. And now let's give me the message Bible for the verse of 16. Have you ever gotten to the, true, to the true bottom of things? I'm only giving you the first clause because the other one speaks about the oceans and the deep. And that's what we are talking about. All the things you see, have you ever gotten to the bottom of things before? When things happen, you begin to scream and talk. But have you ever gotten to the bottom of things before? In other words, whatever you see, there is something at the bottom. There is always a source. There is always a root. Have you ever gotten to the bottom of things before? Lift up your hands. So for 2023 to be awesome for you, you've got to go to the bottom of things in 2023. Ah. Lift up your right hand. Say, I get to the bottom. I get to the bottom. Of 2023. Of 2023. Any calamity. Any calamity. Break. Break. Get out. Get out. By fire. By fire. Now let's go to 17. Verse 17. I'm giving you all these things so that when we start praying, you can pray. He says, do you know the first thing about death? Do you have one clue regarding death's dark mysteries? It, so in other words, trying to say that for death to even appear, there's a clue behind it. For death to show up in that year, there's a clue behind it. Do you know about it? Give me the N NIV. And it talks about the gate of death. The NIV. Now let's all read together. Let's go. Have the gates of death been shown to you? Have you seen the gates of the shadow of death? What is the meaning? Has the gate of death been opened to you? In other words, been shown to you. It means for death to come, it comes through a gate. So if you know how to close the gates, you are not afraid of death anymore. Right. 2023, I come to close every death gate by fire. Right. From 1st January to 31st December, every death gate, 
I close it by fire. So he said, Job, have you seen it before? Have you commanded it before? So don't be afraid of death. Go by the gates. If you don't have to close the gate, it can never come close to you. Now, if there's death gate, then also there's life gate. That's right. So today, I declare life gate are open for your family. If there's life gate, then there's prosperity gates. Right. Let prosperity gate be open now. Amen. Let prosperity gate be open now. Amen. Let the gate of success be open now. Amen. Shall I open? I open. Now. now. Shall I open? I open. Now, this is the next thing. Two things are in life. Dark and light. Am I saying the truth? Darkness and light. Which of them do you like? Yes. Which of them do you like? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Let me tell you. For you to see darkness, you can choose it. For you to see light, you can choose it. Verse 19. NLT. So if 2023 will be full of darkness, it's about you. If it will be full of light, it's about you. Look at it. Where does light come from? And where does darkness go? Wait. Where does darkness come from? Or light come from? Or where does it go? Where? And look at the answer it gives over there. Verse 20. Can you take it to its own home? So you can command light that light, I need you, but darkness, go home. Oh, you, 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 don't, you, don't, you don't get it. It says, we have darkness and we have light. But you can choose one of them that it should go home or it should stay. Which of them do you want it to go home or which one do you want it to stay around your life? As for me, I came to declare, let darkness go home. Go, in other words, darkness, go to your home. Go That's to your right. home. That's but right. as for light, come around me. Yes. Today I speak in the name of Jesus. Jesus. He says, do you know how to get there? So all these things, you can command them how it will show up in a person's life. And as a child of God, God has given you this power to command, to choose, to show. Would you like death? Do you like light? Do you like peace? Do you like darkness or light? And today I speak in Jesus' name. Jesus. We are about to command it by fire. Amen. Let the peace of God visit your destiny. Amen. Let the peace of God visit your destiny. Amen. And now let's go to the times of troubles and the perfect day. So let's see Psalm 94 verse 13. Psalm 94 verse 13. Psalm 94 verse 13. Yeah. It says, you will grant him relief from the days of trouble. Till a pit is dark for the wicked. So God will grant you relief. What is relief? Relief is deliverance. God will give you deliverance in the days of trouble. Man. Today, on the calendar of 2023, if there is any day that we have circled it with red, Jesus. with disaster, Jesus. hear the good news? May God grant you relief. Amen. I said may God grant you relief. Amen. May Jehovah grant you relief. Amen. Say I need a relief. A relief. I need a relief. I need a relief. By fire. By fire. Psalm 50, verse 15. 50, verse 15. This is the declaration. I'm not preaching, but I'm trying my best. Amen. Amen. Say, say declare that you're not preaching. Amen. Because I'm not preaching. Amen. Thank you. I'm trying my best. Who said it? Amen. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Look at it now. And call upon me in the day of trouble. And I will deliver you and I will honor you. That's right. So church in life, everybody has a day of trouble. Ah. But God says on that day, I will deliver you. Amen. Listen, if your own is in January, or it's in February, or it's in March, or it's in December, today we call upon God. Jesus. May God deliver us from disaster. Amen. Any day of trouble, I cancel it. Amen. In the day of trouble, I stop it. Amen. Say, I cancel it. I cancel it. Psalm 27, verse 5. Psalm 27, verse 5. For in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. Yeah, listen. Those who are busy, who have picked a, a, a calendar, and have written your name on a calendar, and have marked some days, down this day, may you cry. May you see trouble. The Lord says in Jesus' name, in that day of trouble, 
God will keep you safe. God will keep Amen. you safe. I said, God will keep you safe. Amen. He says, and he will hide me in the shelter of his tabernacle and he will set me high upon a rock That's right. so on the day of bad news you'll be standing on a rock Amen. you will not sink in any disaster shout i am free i am free by fire by fire shout i am free i am free by fire by fire so jesus christ comes and he comes to confirm in matthew chapter 6 verse 34 he comes to confirm it let's go Matthew chapter 6, verse 34. Jesus is speaking. He says, Therefore, don't worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about itself. Then he says something dangerous. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So each day has enough trouble on its own. Okay, let's see for the last time. Each day has enough trouble of its own. But he says in the day of trouble, I will deliver you. So the enough trouble of each day in the year that is coming after your children or yourself. May God deliver you out of it right now. Amen. May you come out of it by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Any day of trouble, I cancel it. Amen. Say, I cancel it now. I cancel it now. Say, I cancel it now. I cancel it now. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Say, I am out of it now. I am out of it by now. the mercies of God. By the mercies of God. Proverbs 4, verse 18. Proverbs 4 verse 18. Now it says the path. Um, next year there's a series I will do about righteousness. And it says the path of the righteous is like the first gleam of dawn. Shining ever brighter till the full light of the day. Give me the KGV. Give me the KGV. Yes. It says but the path of the just is a shining light. That shining forth. Sign it, that sign it more and more unto the perfect day. So God has a perfect day for you. Can I give you good news? From 1st January 2023 to 31st December. May God make all the days perfect for your sake. Amen. May all of them become perfect for your sake. Amen. Say they shall be perfect for my sake. They shall be perfect for Say my they sake. will be perfect for my sake. They will be perfect for my By sake. the mercies of God. By the mercies of God. And this is my last scripture for you for us to pray. The same chapter, verse 16. Verse 16. And give me the NIV. Verse 16. And this one, all of us, we, 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 we read it together. Now, let's all read together. Let's go. For they can now let's go together let's go for they cannot sleep till they do evil they are robbed of slumber till they make someone fall again for they cannot sleep till they do evil they are robbed of slumber till they make someone fall. for the last time for they cannot sleep till they do evil they are robbed of slumber till they make someone fall so ask the person by you who are the day who are the day Give them the answer. Who? 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 I heard someone say me fearful. Be on your feet. This is warfare night. They cannot sleep until they do evil. Into into obiyani ya ko unti mi na bi unti mi ni bone make us match law twenty twenty three. Because the evil they want to do, we stop them by fire. Amen. Look at it. For they cannot sleep till they do evil. So any any it means any time you see a witch sleeping, it means why you born it. Well, am I saying the truth? Yeah. It says they cannot sleep till it means who are Hannah Sophia by forty me da sister as That's right. He said they have robbed of slumber. They said, until they have seen that somebody has fallen in their business. Lift up your right hand. We are about to make, make some three dangerous prayers. The first one is to command that the year, the dawn, the dawn, the year, the dawn. Say the dawn of the year. The dawn of the year. Say the dawn of the year. The dawn of the year. Say the dawn of the year. The dawn of the year. And give me Psalm 110 verse 13. Psalm 110 verse 13. That will show you something there. Uh, you can never pray without going through the Bible. It helps you to know how to pray. Psalm 110 verse 3. Psalm 
Your troops will be willing in the day of trouble, in the day of battle. Arrayed in holy majesty. Now, I like this side. G give me the KGV. Uh, there's a, 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 a word over there. Now, it said, somebody said the womb of the morning. The womb of the morning. That's the only place I need. Say the womb of the morning. The womb of, of the, the morning. morning. Now, womb. What is a womb? A place where something is conceived. Every morning has a womb. What will happen in the day is in the womb of the morning. Now, let's take away morning. Morning means beginning. So, what is the beginning? The, the morning of the year. Beginning of the year. So, the year comes with a womb. The year is pregnant. Whatever you want to see in the year is in the womb. What you are believing God for is in the womb. And what the devil also wants for you too is in the womb. But today we are about to do two things. The womb is about to do, go through some two things. One part of the womb is about to go through labor world. Which means it's going to give birth to your success. Amen. Yeah. The one part of the womb is about to go through abortion. That's right. Yeah. That any disaster in front of you, hey, we Jesus. are parted by fire. Amen. Lift up your right hand. The womb of the morning. The womb of 2023.